Hi folks, uh, something a little bit different for, for, for the channel. Um, I wanted to show a, a very quick um, um, run through um, and a demo of this very old um, game TV game console called the Soundic Victory um, home TV programmer or whatever they call it, but it's, uh, as you can see, it's the Victory. Um, this is the, uh, it's, it's the same console as the RCA Studio 2, came out in 1978 and it's basically the RCA Studio 2 um, re renamed and reskinned as the Victory, so, and that's how it was brought out in here in Australia. And I got this back in 1978. Uh, it was my first uh, video game console, and I haven't seen very um, much on the internet um, about this console. Uh, maybe the RCA Studio 2, um, there's probably plenty around about this, but the Australian version is a bit hard to find information about it. It's obviously 1978, so it's of its time, but it's really interesting. So the cartridges go in here. It's got these keypads like this, but the keypads were, were able to pop out like this. And then you had these joysticks, which you could clip onto onto that keypad. And then, you know, one of the earliest examples of a joystick on one of these TV games, which is really nice how that clicked on here. Bottom of the joystick, as you can see, as you as you moved up and down, they would just press the buttons underneath. So you can play the games um, uh, with or without the joysticks and um, pressing the buttons fairly, fairly easy to do. Um, and the cartridges look like this. I've got a couple of cartridges still here. There's Space War Intercept. Um, one of the, uh, maybe the first Star Wars cartridge, uh, well, game that's you know, branded with the Star Wars name. Um, and, you know, Star Wars obviously came out, I think, 1977, right? This is 1978. So, yeah, fairly interesting little piece of memorabilia, this cartridge. I'm glad I still got it. Um, this is what the, the, like the, the rule books look like. Oh, spilling it around all over here with one hand. Uh, looks like that. Right, fairly simple, but does the job. The cartridges came in boxes like this. Okay. Um, and unfortunately, this thing only works on this very old TV I have buried deep in my garage. So um, just to demo what it actually looks like. Uh, so it comes with four built-in games. Um, when you hit the clear button down there and you maybe press number three, you've got bowling, 10 pin bowling. Okay, so sorry about the screen. It, it used to be so much better when I was a kid, but this is unfortunately what it looks like now. Okay, the ball is going up and down there. There are the pins um, and you can use your joystick if you, if you have it connected onto the keypad like that, or you can just press the, the buttons. Um, two, eight, or the or five will send the ball going. Uh, well, send the yeah the bowling ball a certain way. So if I go five, it'll go straight like that, and hit whatever it does. Uh, if I if I go eight, gosh, I think it goes up. No, it went down, and I got nothing for that. That's a miss. Okay, really, really bad. They they put the score up there with his. Uh, I got a three. The other player now goes. So an eight goes down. So you want to hit the eight round about there. And then it'll go down and collect. So that's how bowling works. We played this a ton growing up. And despite how simple it really is. The other games here, there's a blackjack. A version of blackjack which you can play. Um, I've forgotten how the buttons go with this. Um, uh, one of these buttons will must work and cut the game cut the cards and get it started uh that's it and we bet and they deal the cards out okay and then it's asking me to hit so i'm failed there so uh as, as you know just a normal looking blackjack type game but it's built in here and the other two built-in games are just basically doodling with them um, with a with a cursor and making patterns on the screen. So, for example, patterns just gets you. Um, you see the the, the, the cursor the cursor uh, down here, and you and you just it's normally in color, but obviously my old color TV work it doesn't really work anymore. All right, and you just and you just um, create these little 
um, little patterns or doodles, and then you hit the button, and and the and the computer just repeats it over and over again, and you just enjoy the patterns that develop on the screen. Yeah, obviously nothing fancy there, but it kind of yeah to a eight year old back in the day, it kind of was was cool to see the the colors, especially if it was you know you could see the colors on the color TV. And this is pretty hopeless like this. And yeah, and the other game is just called Doodle, where you just draw pictures on the screen, just like I did just then. But if you want to put the cartridges in, um, a Space War Intercept cartridges go in here. Um, and I hope it'll work, because it hasn't been working much recently. Okay, this one's working, cool. Okay. So, all right, there's this, the ship going up and down and you're, you guys are both together firing from either side trying to hit this ship, okay? Um, if you hold down your number two button, your shot will go straight and if you let it go, the, the bullet will, will drop a bit like that to try and... So the timing is kind of good. It's just a shoot, basically a shooting gallery game. And so that's what you're doing there. But this has got two games built in, can you believe it? The other version of it is um, this. And again, a very simple shooting gallery where the, the ship goes across the top like that and you're firing missiles from the bottom to try and um, to try and uh, connect. I think I'm going to connect there, yeah. And I think it's, um, I don't know, first one to 50 or something like that. Um, so, yeah, that's very simple. Space War Intercept. And um, Star Wars um, is, is also just as simple, um, if not even more simple. So we put Star Wars in here. Okay, I hope that comes up. It hasn't been behaving very, very well. Okay, it's gonna come up, great. Okay, so wh what happens here, you get to choose a speed, you get to choose one or two players. One of you will be the, um, the play the viewfinder and the other one will be the ship trying to escape from the viewfinder. So for example, um, there's the viewfinder there and that's me, I'm, I'm, the player with the viewfinder. I'm trying to get the enemy ship into it. And as he gets closer, he sort of skips away. And so it's a matter of um, using these buttons to uh, and work out what the code kind of is uh, uh, to press the buttons in certain orders and in certain directions to get him to, to get into your viewfinder. Because when he gets close like that, he skips away. Do you see that? So, um, if, and if he gets off the screen, then you are the one of uh, trying to escape the viewfinder. So, so now I'm I'm the ship and he's the viewfinder and I'm trying to get off the screen, which I managed to do there. Now I'm trying to get him again, as you can see, trying to get him into the viewfinder to try and... And it's um, super hard sometimes. I can't... Oh, this might be the one. Got him, okay? And we just keep going like that. Now, obviously, you score. That's as simple as Star Wars gets. Uh, but as you can see, it's it's built on... At least one simple aspect of the of the famous film, okay, that we all remember. So that's Star Wars, okay. So that's the victory. Um, um, it's a very simple console, but I tell you, we played it to death. Um, it was very unsuccessful because obviously Atari and all those started coming out around the same time, and this was very much, um, uh, you know, lower down in the race. And I think it came to the party a, a bit too late. But anyway, there's not much about it on online. So at least there's some very basic and not so great demo of the Victory uh, system, uh, which is a clone of the RCA Studio to 1978. This is what it looked like in Australia. All right, thanks. See ya.